Hi, I'm Caroline, and I'm going to be testing the questionable food in our vending machines here at GRCC. Not really sure how they're going to taste. I'm worried about price, how I'm going to feel after it, and what's actually in our vending machines. So it should be an exciting ride. I'm going to judge based on taste, um, if I enjoy it, if I would eat it again, or if I would just not eat it again. I'm Molly, and I'm going to be testing the food with Carolyn. I am excited, but kind of nervous at the same time. I'm going to see if there's vegetarian options in there. I'm a vegetarian. Um, kind of nervous how it's going to turn out, to be honest, but we'll see. Um, it was like breakfast. Oh, there is a bacon cheeseburger. Two fifty. The Blippi subs, three twenty-five. I don't think you can eat anything except this five cheese pizza. Yeah, there's, pizza there's thing. one whole vegetarian. What's, is this a hot dog? Well, I'm gonna go for the whip and dip five cheese. I'm not really sure what it is. It's like a little pizza, I think. It's something. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try the cheeseburger because that freaks me out. And I'm also gonna try the blue pizza sub. So I'm just gonna get it and go for it. 14. Right, that's a burger? Yeah. It's cold. It's a bagel. Ready to microwave in one? Minute. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for my instructions. Cooking instructions. To ensure food safety, put product and keep it in the bag so that the plastic melts into the food nice and good. Okay, this makes me so nervous. This is a microwave for 45 seconds. <laughs> What can you cook in 45 there's seconds? There's no way it's going to be warm. Also, I'm glad there's ketchup and mustard and mayonnaise because I'm going to sauce this up real good. <laughs> this, I'll just eat cold. You're supposed to take it out 10 seconds ago. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start eating our food. What did you get, Molly? Rip and dip, five cheese, pizza ring stuffed with mozzarella. That sounds really good. It's the only yeah, thing Molly could eat. She's a vegetarian. I got two things because they both intrigued my interest. So I got a Fast Choice Double Beef Stacker. Um, I only had a microwave for 45 seconds. It just smells like plastic bread. It does not smell enticing. Yeah, yeah, straight up. This is the initial no sauce test. I'm so scared. Plastic bread, that was a good smell descriptive. It really makes sense. I'm not bad. If not like Burger King or McDonald's, it definitely needs something. I'm gonna open this off. Oh, is it saucy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it tasted like a normal burger. Like, I'm not unimpressed, but I'm not impressed. Is rubbery a flavor? Yeah, that's texture. It's good. Very Italian. So the middle bun of mine, so there's bun, bread, cheese, bun, bread, okay. Bun, meat, cheese, bun, meat, cheese, bun. The middle bun is so soggy. It's... I'm not, I'm gonna give the bread like a point four. Oh, it's we like, should rate these, yeah. Like the bread, like the cheese is good, but the bread is what's kinda, do you wanna try my? Panza. Okay, I'm gonna try Molly's. The bread is just, it like, does have a rubbery texture. The bread to is it. like super like doughy. Oh yeah, like like if I if had you like made that a, in an oven, like it a would toaster be toaster so oven. Oh, it would be really good. This is the Blimpy sub. It came in this like plastic container, so I'm not as like worried about how it got in the vending machine and where it came from. It's the Blimpy Italiano. It's literally just me. Just me and cheese. <laughs> Which I guess. <laughs> I'm glad I got the mayo and mustard. Because <laughs> this is what tastes gross. They really layered the meat in there, though. Yeah, they stuffed that meat in there. This is not fresh. It was zero. Oh, we forgot to check the expiration date. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's no expiration date. It's good forever. Good forever. <laughs> it's processed. I bet it is good forever. Oh, expires 12-11 of 18, this blimpy sub. I 
You got a few days. I got a couple days. Okay, this is better than that. I rate this out of five, like a four and a half. I taste like the meat. Taste all that mustard I just put on there. The bread, you can tell it's been like in the fridge. It feels a little dried out, but it's not like crusty. It still like has a good like squish to it. The meat's cold. It doesn't taste gross. Um, I'm glad I put the mustard and mayo on it because this probably would have been really dry. But as this is better than the burger because the burger, that middle bun, it was so soggy it made me want to throw up. If I kind of want to try it again because I don't really remember how it tasted. Oh yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that one. Okay, well. Final thoughts. <coughs> if you're really in a crunch for money, which and college time. students, that's that's a thing yeah and time then do it up but if you have time to like go to subway and like sit down and eat do it and the money that. for subway i know subway can be expensive but the only thing i would probably recommend out of these three things would be this blimpy sub because it's more i feel like real food not processed food yeah tasted better and they did have the ketchup and mustard, which was really nice because I usually put that on, or not ketchup and mustard, mayo and mustard on my sandwich. And that made it taste a lot better. Or bring your own food from home. Yeah. Then you're sure it's like safe to eat. Or if you have an oven with you, this would be really good. Yeah. Don't eat the burger, it tasted nasty. <laughs> <laughs>